So why process modeling or why should we simulate certain chemical processes? Well, first things first, because you want to save money. So many changes will require you to either spend a lot of money in uh, raw materials or in products, or maybe you're going to have a change which does not go according to the specifications and you will need to send that to second quality or maybe even to the waste. So that will be number one. Number two, time. So many changes will require a lot of time to do. And not only that, will take time of the operators, will take time of the engineers, will take time to plan. So it is much more convenient to model it, simulate it and see what if scenarios. Also, it will make us much easier and faster work. Why easier? I don't know if you have been working already, guys, but remember when you have a distillation column with a single reflux or a heat exchanger and you had always done all this by hand, let's say two compounds and you do it by hand, you take two hours and you get the result. And then you want to ask, what will happen if we add a third component? Then almost all what you have done or been working with doesn't help you. So you're going to waste maybe now three more hours because now you have an extra component and then you want to change number of trays and then you want to change recycle ratio. So of course it is easier for us besides we are avoiding human error. It's faster and of course it's going to be helping us to see the what if scenario. It's not the same wasting 10 hours to verify three case studies versus one hour comparing 10 case scenarios. It's also possible to add multiple and simultaneous simulations. So that's very convenient. I think you can do what if scenario A, what if scenario B, and what if scenario C at the same time, instead of you actually having to work through scenario A and then B and then C. We can prove real life scenarios, which is of course what we want to. So this is the main problem with process simulation. You gotta know a lot on the process simulation side and also on the real life side. You gotta connect that, let's say, gap between the simulation and the real life plant. So yeah, I typically get questions on whether the chemical engineer will be automated eventually. I don't think so. I think this gap is what makes chemical engineers or process engineers or simulation engineers is still valuable for any company. Pricing and cost of calculation. So you may change what if scenarios if there is a change in raw materials, if the market drops or the market goes up and the prices increases, you can do that very rapidly. And not only that, if you are working to minimize cost, you can also change, I don't know, maybe temperature, pressures, heat duties, unit operations, input, outputs, etc., in order to favor a low value material. Plant cost will also help you to get inside this unit operation. I don't know, you have this heat exchanger and you already model it and you know how much you need and you know the temperatures and you size it according to Aspen Plus or the EDR, which is a tool specifically for heat exchangers. You can plan or to calculate the approximate cost of installation, maintenance, uh, starting up, operating, and so on. And also you can add a lot of utilities, which are very useful, especially when you are in a standardized place in which you have utilities through a lot of, let's say, through all the places in the plant. So you have plant A, you have plant C, you have plant D. They work with the same simulations because they come from, I don't know, if you talk about the paper, they come from the same place. So that will also help you a lot. And well, of course, the different effects of the process, not only we're talking about money or process engineering or so, we're talking about the changes of the process per se. So which type of companies would you see typically modeling? Well, I remember when I was working back in INEOS or INEOS, we used to work with the cyclopentane, isopentane and cyclopentane simulation because we wanted to separate this one and these two guys send them for another plant so this went directly for our client and we require a certain percent of a specification 
and these two guys were sent to further in the process so technically i have to fix this composition for my next client which was a internal client so yes i would say petrochemical is a huge one pharmaceutical fine chemicals and of course commodities processes the so-called sulfuric acid chlorine solvents coating whenever you can imagine and i would say nowadays i've seen a lot of bio biotech biogas bio wood bio coal bio oil and so on are still becoming a good uh, place where we can simulate and use our press simulation why because we want to see the energy the cost the materials the processes and i would say extra advantages it's excellent for your curriculum as an engineer especially if you are a student you want to have a greater chance to land a job well if you have press simulation or basics on how to simulate processes i'm pretty confident that if you try to land a software simulation or even a process engineer job will definitely help you it's also great for analytical and numerical minds it is i love it because it's where we we get together with computer science and the chemical engineering or process engineering and we get together because sometimes we have errors we have problems with the computer or software lines and so on and sometimes we have problems with the simulation doesn't mean that the computer was wrong means that you set up incorrectly the simulation and means that in real life that will not happen so that gap once again guys is what makes the simulation engineer a valuable asset for the company and also will I stated before will help you a lot to debug and understand whether is this a problem of the computer are we having problems with the lines coding and so on or is it on the real life behalf is it the universe the thermodynamics or the sizing or the unit operation per se failing us so that's what i would say a why do we need process modeling and why is it so important and it's getting even more common nowadays not only for aspen plus or hisis there are plenty of other uh, softwares used for simulation 